Scale models, of course, are miniatures of such things as streetcars, trucks, boats, race cars, ships, and many other objects. The two most common materials for scale model building are plastic and wood. Plastic is the most familiar and easiest to build for the average hobbyist. Simple hobby glue is all that is required to assemble plastic kits. Wooden boats are more challenging, involving generally multiple glues. Some wood assembly pieces are pre-cut, while others require accurate cutting and forming to different shapes. Models come in skill levels from beginner to advanced. In this presentation, I will deal only with advanced models because they afford much more detail. And the greater the detail, the more realistic the model. This model of a funny car is a perfect example of detail and reality. This model is only about 8 inches in length, and yet it boasts great detail. By researching online, I found pictures of an actual funny car dragster from which I could fashion realistic detail into this 125th scale model replica. Needless to say, it takes a great deal of time and especially patience to put together the often hundreds of pieces that go into constructing such detail. Body fabrication, wiring, plumbing are all aspects of the scale model building art which go into creating a lifelike replica. This model literally took me hundreds of hours to bring to life. The average hobby in toy stores offer a limited inventory of plastic model kits only and modeling supplies. The larger the city, the more likely you are to find a hobby store with a greater variety, including some wood kits. Even many of these stores tend to offer only basic skill levels. A quick online check of your area will tell you what local stores offer. By far the greatest availability of all types of plastic and wooden kits and modeling supplies is to be found online. These include all skill levels from basic to advanced. The serious model builder wants their scale creation to have as much detail as possible. The more detail, the greater the realism. Wooden models, such as this tuna boat, offer many large size kits. There are literally hundreds of choices available online. This scale model replica of an actual tuna boat is about two feet in length. At such size, there are a tremendous amount of pieces to assemble and a lot of wood parts to be either glued together or fashioned. The rigging alone requires hours of painstaking work to get just right. This attention to detail is what draws serious model builders to spend the literally months of patient work required to complete such a project. Plastic model vehicles are perhaps the most popular kits. This Mercedes Gullwing is larger, nearly 11 inches in length. This greater size allows the builder greater realistic detail. Engine hoods, door and trunks are often able to open, allowing still greater realistic detailing. Engines and interiors are the two areas which usually receive the greatest amount of attention by model builders. Engines in actual cars are extremely complicated, requiring a lot of work and creativity to replicate such detail in a scale model. Interior detail, especially upholstery, is both challenging and fun to create in a small version of a real car. All types of model kits are given a scale which is the relationship between the length of the actual object and the length of the scale model. Perhaps the most common scale for plastic model cars is 125th. In other words, 1 inch of scale model length equals 25 inches of the actual object length. 
if an actual object is 15 feet long, which is the same as 180 inches, divide that by 25 and you get a scale model length of 7.2 inches. If you buy a kit of the same object in 1 16th scale, the model will be 11.2 inches long. Bottom line, the bigger the scale number, the bigger will be the model size. And of course, the larger the model size, the more detail that can be done. This scale model of an old paddle wheel riverboat is over two feet long. This wooden kit came with many hundreds of parts and because of the large scale, detail was very realistic. Kits like these are only recommended for those with an inordinate amount of patience and a love for detail work. Expect such a project to require months of attention. This plastic car model is 1 16th scale, which is large enough to afford lots of detail, especially because engine hood, door, and trunk lid are all open. 1 16th scale also allows for nice interior detail, excellent engine detail, and undercarriage detailing. So far we've been talking about commercially available model kits. All you do is assemble according to detailed instructions, paint, and add the detailing of your choice. But for the really serious model builder, the real challenge and fun is when you start scratch building. Scratch building is where you fabricate all or some of the parts yourself. In this 112 scale 1923 T-Bucket Ford, most of the body I fabricated out of styrene modeling plastic. Months of work alone went into this part. Most of the interior I scratch built. The windscreen I built out of clear plastic, the dash out of wood, and the seat out of actual upholstery material. The dash gauge faces I made on my computer. Everything in the trunk I built from scratch. From the wood panel, to the aluminum gas tank with brass securing bands, to the battery and all wiring and fittings. The engine block itself I got from another kit, but I went all out on the detailing. I scratch built the air scoop. All fittings, wirings, plumbing and linkages were consistent with an actual car. The rear end of the car really shows the custom fabricated bodywork and differential very difficult and time consuming to scratch build. The result is a unique scale model which has won numerous awards at modeling competitions around my home state of California. The last model to show you is my most recent completion. An entirely scratch built speedboat with trailer 22 inches in length, fabricated from wood, mahogany and birch. This is by far the most challenging project I have ever attempted. It all started when I happened to see photos of this boat online. The whole thing intrigued me and I decided I wanted to try and build a replica. But how was I to go about such a task? The first step was to go online to research how a real boat is built. This led to actual plans. The next step was to miniaturize the plan measurements to the scale size I wanted to build a 22 inch model. I then cut the individual pieces out of hobby plywood and glued them together to form the framework of the hull. Next I sheathed the framework with thin sheets of modeling wood, a painstaking process. For the dashboard I downloaded images of gauge faces and printed them on white paper. Along with building the boat, I also constructed a scale model trailer. It was fabricated from rectangular brass tubing soldered together. Other parts were created from pieces I had collected in my workshop or from the small parts department at my local hardware store. The interior wood trim was made from mahogany. The various materials used for upholstery and detailing came from a local hobby store. There's no set look here, so I let my imagination and creativity run wild. One of the features that intrigued me about the real life size boat 
was the incredible use of beautiful grained woods for the hull and decking. This, of course, is made all the more exotic by the glossy clear finish. It required a lot of practice and experimentation to achieve such a glass-like finish. Well, there you have it, the basics of scale model building. Of course, once a model is completed, I like to display it. Display cases can be purchased commercially, but for larger models such as these, they are very expensive. Therefore, I build my own out of plexiglass. For smaller models, such as automobiles, inexpensive plastic cases are readily available. I prefer a more visually appealing display case, so again, I build my own. I like to enter my auto models in local contests, and so I build display areas which feature various models along with the awards they have won. Happy model building!